why are my altcoins going down what is next for crypto today we're taking a look at the current sentiment in the crypto space taking a look at some key data so that you guys stay informed as to what is happening currently in the space and on top of that we have some massive news surrounding apple as well as the arbitrum proposal we have all of this information for you guys today so if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these videos and the alpha in these videos as well as if you are enjoying the type of content we're putting out i really appreciate it if you smash the like button as well as check out our vip discord you're gonna get some early alpha there too you're gonna get access to private sales so the projects before they even launch to the public and so much more but don't forget we still have our free discord all the links are in the description below so before we get into the crazy announcements today from the worldwide developer conference we essentially have OpenAI and apple partnering together to integrate chat gpt technology into apple experiences this is a massive w for ai in my opinion we're gonna get into that information in the later part of this video but before if we take a look at the bitcoin chart what we need to understand here is that the bitcoin halving happens every four years we recently just had one in april of 2024 and typically the peak of the bull market historically speaking from the last two bull markets have happened about 550 days after the halving so back in 2017 we had the peak happen here with about 532 days after the halving and in 2021 the more recent one it was about 553 days for that second peak after the halving so of course we are nowhere near a year and a half after the current halving we're essentially about two months from april which we saw the bitcoin have and people are saying you know the cycle is accelerated so on and so forth the reason for this is because we've seen bitcoin go absolutely crazy and reach new all-time highs before the halving happened and people are saying this is an accelerated market cycle but mainly the reason why Bitcoin did pump like crazy before having, in my opinion, is because of the spot Bitcoin ETFs, all of that hype leading up to the approval. I think that caused a massive appreciation in the price of Bitcoin. And I do see something very similar happening to Ethereum in the next few months. So this massive lead up to Bitcoin prior to having is partly in due or mainly in due to the Bitcoin spot ETFs. And as we see having has happened, we did go have a pullback all the way to about 56,000. But we have just been hovering in this range for the better part of the last few weeks, anywhere from, you know, 66,000 to 72,000. For the last month, we have just been in this range. If I bring you to a day chart so that you can see a bit better here, we have, you know, some good support on these levels. We are still above this 100-day EMA. So to me, there is no issues there. And we have seen Bitcoin do very, very well. But obviously, most of us are not necessarily holding Bitcoin, but we are holding altcoins. And the question that you all have is why are altcoins not doing anything? So if we take a look at our total three market cap, so the market cap of altcoins, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, as we can see from the last bull market, it did take about 546 days after the halving to have a peak in altcoins. And if we take a look at what has recently happened, well, we had a massive breakthrough for altcoins prior to the Bitcoin halving. Since the halving happened, we have seen a bit of a dip. But in my opinion, we are still very okay on altcoins and people want instant gratification. So, of course, we are still nowhere near the peak of altcoins in my opinion. And one of the reasons I say this is because we've seen Bitcoin hit new all-time highs and right now it is hovering right around those all-time highs and altcoins are still very off from their previous all-time high we can see it's about 73 percent in terms of market cap 
away from the 2021 highs. Now, you're probably wondering why Bitcoin is so close to all-time highs and altcoins are 73% away. Well, in my opinion, it's because of what we just looked at. The Bitcoin ETFs really propulsed the Bitcoin to get to those new all-time highs and now it's hovering in this range and in my opinion we are going to see it blow out of this range and we are going to get new all-time highs on bitcoin and typically what happens first is what bitcoin moves altcoins follow after bitcoin moves that is just how the money flows in crypto we have seen that happen but this again going back to altcoins them being 73 percent away from their all-time highs gives me a lot of hope and confidence that they are going to continue going up it is not going to go up every single day but in the next year or so i do believe that altcoins are going to continue advancing and i would definitely say that we are going to reach a new all-time high for the total three market cap it's happened every single cycle and i don't see it being different from this cycle now of course this is not to say that all altcoins are going to reach new all-time highs we have so many different altcoins coming out every single day with different valuations so of course you have to monitor that you have to pick the ones you have the most conviction in and if we take a look at the others chart we can see this is the total market cap of four altcoins excluding the top 10 coins and if we look at where we are right now we're sitting around 264 billion we still have some decent support right around 255 we also have a lower support around 233 billion we are below this 100 day ema which is probably going to act as resistance on the way up but in my opinion, we are still very okay for altcoins. And that is why I'm continuing to accumulate the ones I want to accumulate. And definitely, if you're not in Ethereum, I do think that you are going to want to be in Ethereum at one point in time because we have the spot Ethereum ETFs. I've already somewhat approved, halfway approved with the 19B4 filings. We also have the S1 filings soon to be approved. And the trading is probably going to happen in July and August. And I do believe that is going to push Ethereum higher. So with that in mind, I believe that if we look at these different narratives and just what is happening around the world, well, you can pinpoint some key narratives. And I've said this time and time again, you know, AI and big data, I do think this is going to be here forever gaming in my opinion is also going to be here forever and we also have real world assets and deepen which have seen the likes of blackrock invest into tokenized assets and so much more so there are many different bullish narratives in my opinion but today we're focusing on two we're looking at OpenAI and apple announcing a partnership to integrate chat gpt into apple experiences which is absolutely crazy. This was announced yesterday as you are watching this. But we have here Apple is integrating ChatGPT into experiences within iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS, allowing users to access ChatGPT's capabilities, including image and document understanding without needing the need to jump between tools. So we have Siri also being able to tap into ChatGPT's. We also have the additional ChatGPT that is going to be available for Apple system-wide writing tools to help users generate content for anything they are writing about, as well as generate images in a wide variety of styles to complement what they are writing. So this is absolutely insane, guys. And on top of that, they've also showed us a new iPad calculator and this is within their math notes on iPad which is just absolutely insane so if we have a look at this video I mean I wish I had this when I was in school because the teachers are gonna have a field day with this new iPad capability so as we can see this was what was played at the worldwide developer conference over the day yesterday this is in the math note of the iPad itself and we have someone literally doing basic math on the iPad 
switching up their different equations as they go through and we can see that the iPad is literally calculating the result of that equation. Now, this is absolutely insane. And if you don't think AI is the future, well, again, I would recommend doing some more research on this because AI is going to be at our fingertips, whether you like it or not. If you have an iPhone, you're going to be able to have, you know, ChatGPT integrated within different applications of your phone. If you have the iPad, you better be using this math node because that is going to be a game changer. And it can even solve equations with different variables as you assign different values to those variables. So I remember being in physics class doing a very similar problem solving or problem to what we're seeing on the screen right now and you know this can literally do it for you you change a number and it just recalculates it for you and that is the future of ai now if we take a look at some other updates coming up with the ios 18 we have the biggest photo update we have sending messages at a later date so you can schedule messages let's say you want to call in sick tomorrow well you can stay sleeping in and text your boss at 7 a.m saying i am not coming in today i am sick and you can still be sleeping so that is awesome you have a different customization available to you so this is all happening with the ios 18 and remember that the ios 18 comes with the chat gpt integration which is absolutely insane and on top of that if you have forgotten well apple actually did feature octane in a previous keynote this was back on may 7th and we can see that octane is the product from the render network which is in fact utilize for generation of images and rendering so if we take a look at this video well they do say that apple users can augment the massive increase in rendering power on the m4 chip with access to near unlimited high performance decentralized gpu compute power on render network using octane x which is that product from render so again kind of relating crypto to the real world here with this decentralized gpu compute power which the render network does offer so this in my opinion is all slowly but surely linking different ideas together different concepts and we are definitely going to see AI continue to boom in the years to come. So with that being said, if we take a look at the current situation on AI coins, everything is down. You look at the last seven days, we're down about 10, 15, 20% on different coins. And this is your time to look at your favorite AI coins, whether or not you want to, you know, continue dollar cost averaging or start a position in a coin that you don't have. I do see this being a decent time to dollar cost average, but of course, it's not financial advice. And if I can recommend anything is to invest only money that you can afford to lose, because if things continue going down, you don't want to be putting your entire life savings in this crypto game, because at the end of the day, anything can happen. But if you're looking at render, which is now at $8.67, down 14% the last seven days, and you wanted to FOMO in at $10, well, you're getting a 13% discount. We also have the migration of Singularity Net, Fetch AI, and Ocean. That is happening later this week. So this is definitely an opportunity to look at some of these AI coins and make your own decisions on whether or not you want to continue investing. Now, if we switch gears and we talk about crypto gaming and gaming as a whole, well, a few videos ago, I did talk about a proposal to bring about $220 million to Arbitrum and to gaming on Arbitrum. This proposal has now passed. So 
they are giving away i believe is 225 million arbitrum tokens they're not giving them away but this is a program to incentivize people to build for gaming on arbitrum and we have the full breakdown of exactly how much is going into what so we have 160 million arbitrum over three years that is going towards a builder and onboarding growth so this is definitely going to attract new studios, new infrastructure to build on Arbitrum and to build gaming ecosystems on here. We also have an infrastructure bounty, which is going to help the current projects on Arbitrum continue building their own ecosystems. And what I like about this is that Arbitrum is trying to compete against some of the bigger blockchains that are already pretty well established in the crypto gaming space, such as AVAX. I love AVAX, but I also like Arbitrum for this. And one of the projects I do think is going to benefit very well from this is in fact Zay Games. This is a layer three on Arbitrum, which is ultimately a layer two to Ethereum. But this, in my opinion, as games continue to get onboarded on Zay, we have to watch out for this current blockchain because I believe there is going to be an adoption and with the incentives from the Arbitrum Foundation with this $215 million proposal or $215 million grant that they are giving to Arbitrum projects, this is going to potentially be the key catalyst that we need for Arbitrum Gaming to be on the map and to compete with other gaming blockchains. So with all of that being said, to sum it up here, I still think we are very early in the current market for altcoins. We have seen Bitcoin hit new highs because of the spot Bitcoin ETFs. The Ethereum spot ETF is the next on the corner. That, in my opinion, is going to propulse Ethereum we are still very early in the sense that, you know, typically it takes about a year and a half to get the peak on a Bitcoin. We're only about two months into the Bitcoin halving. And in my opinion, this is going to continue growing. It's not going to be overnight, but it is going to be over weeks and over the months to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had some crazy news with Chad GPT and apple as well as a massive win for the arbitrum ecosystem relating to crypto gaming i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out the vip discord if you want early alpha if you want to get into projects before they launch to the public and i will catch you guys in my next video peace